this is an example of how you post a response to a discussion board question. First, you look for the folder where the discussion board uh, questions are located. In my case, here you will see it as weekly discussion. Other professors may call it differently, but there will be some form of an indicator that that folder will hold all of your discussion posts. Once you click on it, you will now see either another folder, another entry, but there will be directions for you to get to the discussion board. In my case, you will see it here, goes directly to discussion boards for each of the weeks in the semester. I go to week one, when I click on it, I will see the various entries. There's one entry right now, but there will be various entries here um, for some professors, depending on what class you're at, and click on the first entry. From there, you will get either scenarios, examples, excerpts from the book, anything that the professor would want for you to have a discussion in. All you have to do is read the instructions in the description where I have my cursor right here. Click on reply. Now you may not get the rest of these entries because I'm looking at it as a professor. As a student, you probably will just see either reply and quote, and that's okay. When you click on reply, you will now get the subject pre-populated for the threads title that you got. And then in the description area or the message area, this is where you type your answer. So student answer here. When you're, when you're there, all you need to do is click on submit. And your response is now under the entry of that particular thread. When you want to provide feedback to a classmate's post, all you need to do is go to the post itself that you want to respond to, click on reply, and then classmate feedback or input or reply to your reply. I can't type reply to your post. Okay, so when these click on submit, you know you're in the right spot because you will see that it might be a little faint here, but there is an entry right underneath your entry. If another student comes in, I click on reply again. So this would be student number two replies here. What you will notice is that that second student will have their own box not connected to yours or to another classmate. All you do is respond to any of these uh, comments depending on what your requirements are for the class and then you're done. You do that for all of the discussion questions that are available for you for that particular week. So if there are two or three of these entries here, you go to the next one, click on it, respond like you've done in the first one and then continue that process. Okay, so good luck.